everybody. This one's for people just starting out in Flash, so if you're intermediate, you can just go ahead and bypass it. But it's all about shape, gradient, and color tweening in Flash. Hope you enjoy. It's Adam again here, Flash Building, and sorry for some of you advanced guys, but I'm going a little bit back to basics because there's a tutorial I want to create. It's not in my site yet, but it's kind of basic. So if you're very advanced in Flash and you know how to shape tween real well, then skedaddle buddy get on out of here this one's for beginners we're going to show you how to shape tween if you don't understand shape tweening gradient and color tweening and all of that good stuff it's gonna be real quick short sweet let's go flash action script 3 file or action script 2 it's just timeline animation so the action script version doesn't matter and this works in CS4 exactly the same okay now let's just turn this thing to black canvas and let's throw out a rectangle primitive okay so for the first one I'm just gonna use a rectangle primitive and I'm going to give it a gradient and let's say we want that gradient to be colored let's open the palette and change the side that's white to that uh, magenta color there and we don't need an edge on it. Now, we're going to take the timeline and let's get this thing a little wider. 640. 640 glue. Okay, now this one we're going to tween back and forth. Maybe. Yeah, let's set our frame rate up to 30. Get a better animation to see things better. 25, set a keyframe, and set another keyframe at 50. So at 25, we want to take it and put it uh, over here. And this will be just a basic example. And we're going to, between the color, the gradient, and the placement of it, okay so let's go and create the shape tween you can highlight each section create shape tween and right click create shape tween or you can drag like I did and make them all black there and create shape tween and it'll do it to the whole section okay so anyways so now you can see we have the movement so all we have to do here on this frame is transform the gradient go to gradient transform tool and let's turn that gradient around buddy and then go to the cutter wheel and where is magenta turn it to yellow or something like that okay so now let's press control enter okay so you can see the gradient is transforming and or tweening and the placement of the block and the also the uh, the color Okay, so we can slow that down a little bit so people can see it better. In the demo, this demo will be at the site with all the rest. See, now you can see it a little better. Okay, now let's do another quick example. Let's grab the pen tool. Let's make a new layer right here. Let's lock that layer. That one's done. Now let's grab the pen tool and I'm just going to draw out some crazy cookie shape doesn't matter what it looks like there now when it's closed up I'm gonna highlight it and make it that blue color there that's good and now I'm going to make another keyframe on 45 and let's just get rid of this one actually let's make another keyframe on 90 and on the 45 let's grab that and remove it control X now let's take the pen tool and just put another crazy ship over here there we go now let me highlight this one and we put a color on it there. Now let's create shape tween. Create shape tween. Okay, so now let's press Control Enter. 
So you see, the outlying shape of the or the out the outline of the shape will also tween there. And let's see what else can we show you about this. Okay, so for our last little quick example, I'll just make another layer. Let's lock that previous layer. In the new layer, I'm going to place just a rectangle primitive with a gradient. Something like that. And let's give it a gradient fill. Now let's go ahead and to the color wheel and let's put white in the center or some other color that we want to start with and on the edges we can make it any color we want I'm not going to go with black since my background's black so I'll go with uh, that, just that gray okay now I'm going to set some keyframes let's say at 20 then 40 and then 60 and then 80 that's good now uh, yeah, let's just bring this one out to the end here now what I'm going to do is go to frame 20 and I'm going to transform the gradient I'm going to show you how to get a nice revolution to revolve it and change the colors at the same time sort of like what we're doing up top there but this is a cool effect for like audio players and such okay let's change that color to any color we want there are no mistakes in our world just happy accidents okay so now let's go to the next keyframe highlight that let's transform that grad gradient change the color to a different a yellow that'll work and then the next transform this gradient around even more almost to a full revolution and change the color to whatever we like. Let's go with the blue. Okay, now let's shape between this whole thing. Grab this, highlight it, make it all black through there, and then right click, create shape between. Now let's press control enter. You see there? It makes like a cool disco-y effect. It says it's really cool for audio players when you got music bumping. Uh, I think that's a really cool animation to have going with music and if you're slick you can tie it to the amplitude in action script 3 mp3 amplitude to where this thing will jump to the beat what's up that'll be funky fresh you should do that shit right now go all right anyway this one was for beginners to just understand shape tweening real quick and carry on <laughs>